Dave? How are you? I'm doing well, Nick. How are you doing? I'm good. You've got this kind of little bit of ticket box heaven. This is, this is awesome. actually quite cool, isn't it? It's quiet. We can talk and you can hear. And we have sunlight and palm trees. We may be the only booth with a, at NAM with a window. I mean, if you I, think you about it. You know what? I think that is. And, and also blinds and booths. So you yes. Can flip it up. Can I help you? Yeah. Would you like a and actually, XL? We're recording out here. We we have this right. little mic. It, it's live. That goes over the tannoys. Yeah. So with yeah, no, it goes out. Little boxes. Yeah, by the, the little yeah, yeah. heavily band pass. You know, 500 hertz to about probably 800 hertz. It's oh, neat. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. So uh, Profit XL. We did, we haven't seen you with it. We've obviously reviewed the uh, Profit X and we've seen yes. the Profit X, but you've got the XL here, right? Well, it's exactly the same as the X. Except, of course, it has 76 notes and a weighted keyboard. We didn't go with the full hammer keyboard because it's still a synth, and we didn't want it to be all the way just for pianos. But it's more piano-like for when the, the times that you want to have a lot more notes and play yeah, the piano. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, but other than that, it's, you know, it's the Prophet X. It's and was there an update that allowed you to have more synth voices? Did I? You could yes, yes, you could have, like, I could uh, uh, dial up a piano with 32 voices, so... You know, there's... Lovely. So, yeah, and that's, you know, we almost call that piano mode, you know, because when you're playing a synth, you don't need 32 voices. No, but when you're eight's play enough generally, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but when you're playing a piano, and we have it set up so it bypasses the filters, so we still have uh, stereo uh, playback of the samples in 32 voice mode. We only have 16 analog filters in the instrument, so... You're, you can't play 32 voices with only 16 filters. No, sure. But, if you, you could, but you can do it paraphonically, so you could still get the filters playing paraphonically with 32 voices, which is kind of fun sometimes. That's an interesting thought. Or, yeah. or you could just bypass them all together. Sort of high count para paraphony. That's a yeah, yeah very, probably the biggest paraphonic <laughs> Yeah, it's a hard word to ratio. Yeah, I don't want to say that Para word yeah, too many yeah, times. How is it? So, uh, um, I mean, since, you know, since it's been out and since it's been happening, I mean, is it, are, are things... Because it feels like a real instrument. I mean, have you had some, some surprises yourself with places it's gone? Uh, yes, because people... It, well, it goes so many different ways. I don't think I've ever had a synth that's had so many different ways and directions you can go with it. Uh, and now that we have uh, the user sampling available, and we have 50 gigabytes of user sampling, so you could throw all kinds of stuff in here and have it do well, like, you know, this... Well, let me do. Let me play something more obvious. So we just downloaded a whole Radiohead album, and then of course you could do. Uh, yeah, you could just go through and mangle it however you want. So yeah, it's just so much fun to be able to throw a lot of stuff in there. Is there a limitation to the length of the song? I mean, obviously, or does I it think stream a, a, off the drive, or does it? Yeah, there's a. I think a gig and a half. All right, so Limit could, for a single instrument. That would be enough. That's a few track. albums, you know. Yeah, so. you could do. Well, you could do a kind of. Uh, so you could run st a stem through it almost, couldn't yes, you? Yes, you could. And uh, also, 8DO has an, has started shipping uh, add-on packs. Like they have a Profit Five add-on pack where they deep sampled my pr personal Profit Five, which is the last one built. So they have all 120 factory presets in there and it's sampled per key, which is pretty awesome. Uh, they have a CP70. They, uh, we're demonstrating here OBX and Minimoog and Junos and Jupiters and uh, uh, Profit T8. So there, there's going to be a whole bunch of more. whole, uh, I just, whole bunch even, more stuff. I, I yeah. can't even talk right. Uh, there's going to be a whole lot more coming out, which is really awesome. So you have the choice of throwing your own stuff in there or buying stuff already ready to go from them. Uh, it's just, the, everything's just expanding. And, you know, it's going to keep going from here because, as you know, most of our instruments have really long lifetimes. So, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now, you'll still be able to get stuff and take this instrument with you forever yeah and i mean this technology i mean it must have been quite an exciting kind of project for you because i mean yeah <laughs> you know, oh yeah you know subtractive synthesis it's been around a little while just on its on yeah. its own so this additional stuff i mean do you find that personally kind of more exciting and it kind of well, gets yeah. you a bit more thrill when you go to work definitely it was something new for us and um for me 
Well, people have been asking for samples through filters for 20 years. I mean, because as you know, the first one, first samplers all had analog filters. And there's something magical about taking digital through analog on all of our instruments, on any instrument. So I finally kind of caved and said, OK, let's do it. The other side of that is workstations have been around for 30 years. And they're all kind of the same. And they're great, but they're workstations. They're tools. Uh, we tried to make the samples into a musical instrument. Uh, and so you can interact with it. You're not waiting for things yeah. to download like you are on, the, on a laptop. If you want to turn the filter knob, it's right there where you'd expect it to be. Uh, if you want to try different combinations of samples quickly, you just do it. And it just leads you musically and gives you inspiration so much faster and more naturally than any other sampler out there. Yeah, I mean, the patch loading on this is super fast. I mean, yes. It doesn't you know, it takes a little while to boot, but once it's up there, it's kind of, yeah. you know, the samples are pretty much instantaneous. Exactly. So it's, it's meant, again, samples as a musical instrument instead of as work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is there a favorite thing you like to do with, uh, with this guy, or is it just wherever the, wherever the moment oh, takes you? It, it's, yeah, that's the problem. Like, uh, one of the things I've been doing, uh, actually, on this patch, uh, I'll just go here and let's loop. Oh. I hit the wrong switch again. Right. Uh, well, let, let me do something else. Uh, you, we have the things like this where, you know. And that's the kind of sound that's fun to play with the arpeggiator. So you just. You just, just hit random notes and beats happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an action sequence right there. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, we go into the movie soundtracks. Uh, or just plain old... I mean, listen to that, just... Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that sounds lovely. <laughs> yeah. It's really interesting. I mean, this, I'm, I'm, it's, yeah, I think the thing is about the, the, the whole hands-on side of it. And this is something that also, I was talking to Eric Persing a couple of days mm. ago, and they're adding all of these instruments, and they added yours as well. So oh, they, they've they've wired it. They've oh. wired it up, haven't they? And they've, they've, they've kind of gone gone crazy with it. I, do you think it's like a... It's like an extra tick, isn't it? It's like you've got the interface right, so now we could use it to control our software. Yeah, they're kind of cheating there. But that's awesome. You know, Eric, I think they have all of our instruments now connected up to uh, the Spectrophonic stuff, so, Sonic yeah, stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, it'll be interesting to see where that goes for people. You know, of course, we're the opposite because, you know, we're making the instruments, but it's kind of cool for them, for their stuff, to be able to interface quickly with the real instruments. They did uh, the Juno 106. Yeah. And I was thinking, that is so niche. Imagine that. It's like that, because that's Sys X as well. That's crazy. Well, you know, those guys are all synth heads. So, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, we're all part of the same family. So, I mean, can you see this kind of hybrid technology kind of moving on into, I know you probably can't tell me about any of this stuff, but I'm going to ask anyway, moving into other uh, instruments that you design. I mean, now you've kind of figured out how to do it. Is there, a, is there more mileage there, or are you keeping it for the, uh, the Profit X? Right? Well, anything's possible in the future. Uh, you know, obviously it'd be fun to build some sort of drum type of thing with this technology. Not that we're doing that immediately. Uh, but this, this instrument just kind of encompasses it all now. I mean, I, I kind of like to just see what, where this goes for the next few years as more and more people. I mean, the artists that have been coming and playing this thing uh, at the show here have just been blown away by it. So uh, I, I th this is kind of an end statement, uh, really. Yeah, 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 sure. So, uh, you know, build a cheaper one so that it's, Someday, maybe, I don't know, you know, we're not into doing that thing of trying to yeah. spin off cheap yeah. versions of things just to Keep do that. Keep it to the range and then you'll be on to something else anyway. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we, well, as you, yeah, exactly. We always like to do something new. So we're working on stuff now, of course, hope to have something for the summer and it's not going to be anything like this. And because oh, okay. there's so much stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dave, thank you so much. Thanks, Nick.